It's finally here. The time has come. After so many years of watching anime, seven years of watching anime, um, I can do this test and I think I will probably not embarrass myself uh, as far as I think. I hope. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I always had this kind of like, uh, I don't know, like the, I, I always wanted to do this, especially on YouTube. Uh, that is like, I'll play a clip, an hmm, anime clip, obviously, anime clip and I will not look at the subtitles. I will like turn my head this direction. My, my computer screen is over there, like behind my camera. So I'll turn this way. I'll hear, I'll hear the words that they're saying and I'll try to translate it. Now I might sometimes, uh, my keyboard is over here. I might sometimes press the pause button because obviously uh, like uh, Japanese is something that uh, I've learned to anime, like at least hearing. I don't know how to write Japanese, obviously, but re and read Japanese. I can only like translate it by hearing it. Like that's the like uh, amount of uh, like knowledge that has anime given me. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play a clip, look at the other side and try to translate it, pausing the video uh, sometimes. Uh, when like I'll have to like think about it sometimes when I have to think about when the words are uh, tough and another thing uh, I'll do two clips two video clips uh, the number one video clip will be in normal mode obviously not easy mode because this it's in itself is a pretty hard like job because uh, I've known an uh, idea about Japanese and anime is the only thing that like made me learn Japanese uh, through hearing uh, so yeah normal mode and the hard mode the hard mode will be a bit difficult with the translations so let's first start with the normal mode and i'm going to uh, play the most like popular clip in the whole internet that is <laughs> jotaro versus dio now here's one thing like i know a lot of you people like have uh, like heard this uh, like seen this scene so many times that it has been like ingrained in your memory i'm not like that like I myself have not like uh, finished Jojo up like I've seen Jojo uh, uh, I think uh, this third season up till the first part so I don't know what happens later on so I've only seen heard the meme for a few uh, like moments so I don't know and everything what this like scene will say so like uh, it's three and a half minutes clip so I'll try to translate it without looking at the subtitles so Let's start. Like I don't know what to do. Like all the animals are over, and it's uh, like <laughs> like a few uh, like days it will take to start the new batch of animals. So I'm I'm not sure what I should do. So this is just something that I thought. Ah, let's do it. Like okay, so okay, let's start. Uh, Jotaro versus Dio. All right, let's see how much I can do. <laughs> I hope I don't embarrass myself. All right, let's see. Okay, uh, Dio here says that I've already defeated Kakoi, Kakioi. And then he says Polnareff is um, hiding somewhere, isn't it? I think it's something like that. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. Next time, Jotaro, it's you. Bastard. Dio. Oh, you're approaching me. You're approaching this Dio. Uh, okay, he's saying something about Joseph. Just a sec. Okay, this is a bit difficult. Uh, I think he's saying something about Jotaro uh, using his time to like uh, un reveal the power of his stand. That is the world. Something like that. Uh, and there was a lot of like, uh, I don't know, metaphor kind of things which they inserted in it. So I'm a bit uh, like stuck in the translation of that. Like said something about uh, Jukensio. Uh, no, something about like being a... Sp um, like... A He's taking the metaphor of a school student's uh, like solving a problem and like uh, like solving the problem and uh, 
like making uh, Jotaro understand that. But he is like, uh, uh, like Jotaro is, I think it's something like that. I, I cannot like properly translate it. Uh, if I don't come uh, close to you, I won't be able to beat you up. Ho oh. ho! Then approach me as you like, as much as you like. And then comes the aura. Okay, what what did you say, Moro or Noroi? I think Moroi, isn't it? That means uh, too easy, I think. Noroi would is uh, Noroi means curse, so it is not like uh, appropriate for this scene. So I think he's saying Moroi, isn't it? That means uh, it's too easy for me, something like that. I'm not sure. Anyways. The world is the strongest stand. It's, uh, I think it said something, I did not quite catch that portion. Just a sec. Um, okay. The world is, is the strongest stand. Uh, it not only stops time, uh, it also, uh, I think, enhances speed and power. Uh, it's uh, superior to your star platinum, okay. Oh, uh, Jotaro says it is, it is like, uh, it's the same uh, like stand as my star platinum, isn't it? Uh, the range is not good. But power and I, I could not translate the other thing that he said. I don't know what that means. Uh, Jota, uh, Dio says that uh, let's check if uh, like how how much superior is my stand to yours. I think something like this. Yeah, let's test it. Well, it doesn't need testing at all. What do you mean by test testing? You mean only like uh, like Naderu means uh, pet, pet, like petting or like. <clears throat> like uh, you, you know what I'm trying to say like like only petting kind of What Zubon says something about his pants Yabureta uh, something about it being torn I think Why do the Josta family are so like doesn't want to lose <laughs> uh, Like uh, being provoked by such a useless provocation. Let me test it a little bit more. And here it starts. Okay. Hurrah. Okay. And this is the hurrah hurrah. What? Rush. Says something about uh, comparing the speed or something. <laughs> and here it is. Muda muda ora ora. What else? Okay, there's no transitions needed. Everyone knows this. Like ora means ora and muda means muda. I think muda means useless, I think. Ah, it seems as if my world is uh, like more powerful. Uh, I uh, like I understood from this. Uh, I'm uh, contented. Let me finish this in one shot. Uh, uh, I've decided to kill you in one shot without uh, like uh, like that was something I've decided from before. Said something like this. Uh, to finish you, I'll use the uh, ultimate technique of the world. Zavardo. <laughs> Stop the time. With this. The Jostar family is uh, like the final, I think, uh, he's saying something about the final person of the Jostar family will also like, 
be finished i think something like that okay uh, i cannot translate this what does this mean uh so, so, umme he said something about his destiny or something aravarita like someone who has come from his destiny sarabada he says farewell to them something like that okay nani uh how how does he move impossible okay i think that's the end <laughs> all right uh so okay how was this like did i pass <laughs> cuz i had i like i thought i would have a lot less problem but there were a few bits where i kind of like uh stuttered and hesitated was unable to like properly translate it oh boy <laughs> well and uh, this was normal so i i don't know what the hard part port portion will be okay now uh, for the hard portion i have taken a clip from the monogatari series and obviously like if you guys don't know like uh, oshino shinobu is uh, like you guys have like those waifu tier lists she is number 1 in my list oshino shinobu you guys must know because obviously my profile picture is of oshino shinobu So yeah this is a part of the monogatari series and i'm saying this is hard because monogatari series have a lot of dialogue and the way they talk is extremely difficult and uh, a lot of dialects like ex especially like shinobu kind of talks in uh, like pre uh, like an ancient kind of dialect like uh, washi or uh, something like that so yeah this will be a bit of pro a problem so let's see how much can i like get this I'm not sure. So, uh okay, this is another clip. This is called Shinobu Cries. All right. Um let's see <clears throat> what this is. If I can be uh, am able to like translate it properly. Let's go. Okay, uh sorry for that. Uh Oh my god, this is extremely long. Uh Okay uh here uh, Kagerui says something about um like uh, sorry for making you like uh, try too hard for us and there was just a, a perfect place to put my leg on that is your head so i just stepped on it something like that stop it kaka be wary of what you say human the reason why i'm not killing you is uh, because my master's uh uh what can i say physical problem is uh, is something that you would be able to solve and i have expectations for that don't forget that kaka oh my god this is difficult this is going to be difficult ah uh. All right, let me just rewind a bit. Kagenui's uh dialect and his, her way of talking is extremely difficult to like translate. All right. Uh what does this mean? <laughs> okay. It's... Oh, she says something about like I apologize, didn't I? Uh for stepping on your head. Uh your prideful <laughs> but small head i stepped on it don't uh, hold it against me please oh he she saying something about her name like uh, you like like people call you nightwalker but you are like kind of uh, like uh dark kind of uh, have a dark kind na have a petty personality don't you something like this sorry sorry I'll make it I make sure that I won't uh, step on it from the next time. You know who gets angry? Stop it please, Kagenisa. Let's see now you as well. For, uh, forget that. 
bring up your past and uh, like prodding the wound of your past is not something that you should do and shinobu cries shinobu says but oh lord okay uh, aragi says that at that time you like helped me not get the like uh, you were like saving me from my head from not being uh, stepped on so that's why you took it on yourself that is self sacrifice if you think it like that your pride will be unhurt won't it and say ah so yeah that's that's it that is that that's it that's it yeah i was covering for you yeah i'm cool am i <laughs> i don't know guess that i lost to some someone like this all right <laughs> Okay, monogatari is a lot difficult to translate because of a lot of things and because this is dialogue heavy and um like the especially the like different type of like the way they talk and uh the like dialects and everything those are um quite difficult like kagenui's portion was extremely difficult for me to like decipher properly but yeah yeah that was fun like um This is something that I did for the first time. I never even like tried this in my like spare time before, but uh yeah. So I think I might be able to like understand an anime even if I don't have subtitles. Won't I be able to? I think so. I won't be able to know each and everything, but uh, like I would be able to make an outline of it and kind of understand the story. So yeah, like 7 years of like listening to anime uh, <laughs> it paid off for something at least. So yeah that's uh, that's some kind of an accomplishment I'm again guessing and yeah <laughs> so okay guys and that's it um like yeah I I enjoyed like trying to like translate it and like obviously I I have no like I've not uh, like have I did not have any kind of like training in Japanese but like the only kind of like uh, like Japanese interaction that I had was from anime like anime is the only thing anime and like japanese like songs and everything those are the only things that kind of like after hearing it for so like long time like it's amazing to think about it like i've never re- really read japanese or tried to like uh, like teach myself japanese uh, i've only like heard anime and like hearing anime for so l- such a long time kind of made me understand the language as, uh, like completely kind of so it's really amazing to see how what the human like brain can like do like just imagine like i never met any kind of like uh i ne- never even tried to like uh, study japanese myself the only thing that i like heard was anime and like anime games like those jrpgs uh, visual novels and um what else uh, songs these these are the things that kind of like made me uh, like like the sound and everything kind of like came in my ears and it kind of like accustomed it, my the brain to like uh match the sounds and the like subtitles with each other and for so long so many years and finally at at this level and i'm sure that uh seven years isn't it like if i like uh, like watch anime and like see anime for like uh, seven more years i'm sure that i'd be able to properly like translate each and everything without even like knowing japanese so yeah i'm looking forward to that <laughs> Anyways guys um that was enjoyable uh, so yeah that's just something i thought about i i don't have any kind of idea of what to do in these kind of like times because obviously the animes that i'm going to react to are going to like start airing from i think 5th or 4th i'm not sure like uh, one anime is i think uh, coming out in the 4th or 5th so like uh, unless and until that day uh, i i i have nothing to do and it really feels weird not to like post out a video and skipping a day so yeah i just did this so <laughs> anyways guys so like if you guys enjoyed it uh, please be sure to like the video and comment down below anything you want to say and um subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and um uh yeah that's it guys so i'll see you guys in the next video um tomorrow obviously i'm i'll be back with my schedule i'll do one of the ghibli movies so yeah so So yeah guys uh, I'll see you in the next video so goodbye and until then goodbye and have a nice day